one points in a 104-81 loss. George feeling good. Gets around his defender. Oh, he had him backpedaling and lays it in. He's down four. Late in the clock, Harkless realizes an aggressive, strong drive to the rim and lays it in. He impacted the game, and I think that's what's truly special. Well, he was. I mean, absolutely he was. And the greatest commissioner of any sport that's ever been around. The way that he grew this game. Question about it. Welcome back, new father. Lou Williams to the lineup. Paul George wheeling inside, lays it in, and he looks much better here tonight. Rose. Oh, showing signs from 2011, but a chase down blocked by Montrez. One of the better three-point shooting teams in the league. Pistons lead by five. Leonard swivels his way to freedom. Count it and a foul and send that young man to the line. And you look at how fast he goes on this play. He's physical. He's fast. He, didn't, he just didn't mess around at all. And he got right to business. Nice spin, finish. And he gets what he's been looking for. When he is off, he converts to three-point play. Pistons match their largest lead of five. Perez shakes free, jams at home, coming on a foul. He's played well. They just, as a team, are having Blake Griffin is tough. Montrez inside the floater is good. There is a handful of injuries early in games. You just don't. You don't want to have to say, all right, we have to work really hard in the fourth quarter to go get a win. Nice two-man game by Sweet Lewis. The second giveaway by the Pistons. Clippers down nine. Perez deep into the paint. The feathery floater counted at a foul and sent Montrez to the line. Down by seven. Green for a corner three, and he rips the cords. The way that he grew the game was amazing, but I think the epicenter of the game growth really goes to the Dream Team. I, and I agree with you 100 percent about the game being global. His Dream Team goes over there and wins by 60 and 70 every single night. Paul George really playing well, 5 of 8 from the field. Shot clock into single digits. Leonard left alone, that provokes a three, and he rips the courts. And that was a nice shot right there. Nice pass by Paul George. 14 of their last 17 from the field. Paul George, yo-yos in and out of the paint. Oh, a ferocious follow by Montrez Hero. Counted on the foul, third time here in the half. Paul George, 13. That is a very, about that? Paul very George, good 13. Trey safe. Leonard back the other way, bangs it in off the window. They cut the lead down to two. Leonard displays the handle, shows off the mid-range, and brings the Clippers all even at 56. Times that guys just don't know how to actually set swing. Lou finds some space and delivers a bucket. Clippers tied up at 58. Harkless for the Clippers. Finds a seam, gets to the rock, and punches it in with the right hand. <laughs> wow, that was a beautiful play. We talked about him earlier in the game. How about Mo Harkless coming downhill right here? Getting to that right hand. Where's the screen by Drummond? Misses short. Rebound tapped over to Leonard. Ahead to Harkless. Two giant steps soaring inside. Coming on a foul. You look for the two, two for one opportunity right here. There's the one. It's a three by Lou. Ranger trying to throw it into the corner. That monster reach of Kawhi Leonard comes <laughs> away with a loose ball. Man, it's amazing. I'm pretty sure Tim Frazier thought that lane was wide open. Zubats breaks free. Ho oh, ho! Step on those size 16s and take a ride. What a play. Nice. And that's great touch right there in the paint. And a wonderful pass right there by Kawhi Leonard. Here comes Magruder, bounces ahead to Harkless, and he flushes it in with two, and the Clippers lead 81 to 69. Much to the chagrin of Aviza Zubas, that gets Shamit in the corner for a good look at a three. They'll take it that way. One way or the other, the Clippers finding the bucket. Harkless to Shamit, hands ready, flings it up and in. Back-to-back -back triple for Landry Shamit. Down, a stutter step move, a reverse layup. No, Harkless. Again delivers a nice play, his sixth rebound. Jogging down the lane, counted on a foul, and send that young man to the line. Coast to coast, he gets the basketball, he doesn't have to give it up, and he continues to pursue and pursue and pursue, and just use his great length and his great athleticism with these small Detroit guards. 
likes this matchup, glides into the rim off the window and in, and the Clippers lead by 21. Lays it up and in Clippers lead 99 to 78, and how about Lou? 17 off the bench. Derek Rose misses on the reverse layup. It'll be Piston basketball to open up the fourth quarter. It'll be a Clipper lead. Can they feather the nest? Lou moving to his left for three. He's done it again. After, I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, it doesn't really matter what kind of shot he has to attempt. You got the assumption that is a sixth man. Here is Lou. Drive. Green inside. Muscles up the shot of the Clippers. Do execute the two for one. Dumps it inside to Trez. Good passing by the Clippers. Derek Walton Jr. online all the way. Continues to impress. With a rebound, Clippers 108-79 over the Pistons. Trez, look out to the rim, lays it home. Front. Trez wants to go ISO on Maker. Gets to the rim. Boy, we always wonder, would length bother Montrez? Not there in Montrez. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure to check these out. For more Clippers highlights, access, and original features, subscribe today. I have to say this. Yeah. I can't say this. I'm not using this either. Yeah, can we skip this part and then can we go to something else? <laughs>